I was signed up for a lightning talk. Uh, I was told it this afternoon. Um, the slides kind of stuff. Now, the message I'm supposed to get across is this. And I figure that if I talk about this for five minutes, you'll just all hate me. Uh, because you know about the Reddit. And we're a great company in hiring and so on. So instead, I'll work on task one arcane knowledge and talk about destiny. <laughs> I wrote this module a while ago, and I gave it a name that I can't pronounce, so I'll just refer to it as that thing. Um, basically, all it does is this. It tries to do it faster. Um, everybody knows the way to do that faster is this, and if you do this, I will come smarter than you in your sleep. <laughs> oh wait, I can't do that because I probably have to kill you all, including myself. But we can do it a little better. We write it in C. This is a very simple access function. Don't be scared. It's not that complicated. Basically, it just fetches the HB fetches. It fetches um, an entry into the hash of the object and returns it. Really simple. It has one problem. It includes a literal string there, which means we need a separate one of these functions for every object so that we create. So that doesn't really work. Right? So we need to parameterize. Turns out, XS already does this for us. It has the alias keyword, which allows us to have the same X sub for various actual Perl functions, <laughs> and then using if inside to figure out what it actually gets. That's not quite good enough, it's still a compile time. So instead, we just tell Perl, tell, tell the XS compiler that we want to use the functionality, and then when we actually install the XSub, we assign to that special variable that it sets up for us um, to be a key um, to fetch stuff from Perl <laughs> storage. Um, so that, that was all fine, it was not faster, nice. A fun you know, other project I thought. Um, so eventually, I get this email saying, "Hey, Jeff, you're playing with us. Uh, you think it looked better? Uh, you need to replace the the actual Perl function call with something better than that." Um, so I was like, "Yeah, sure. If you do that, I'm fine with that. Um, <laughs> I just have no idea how you do that." Um, so what you need to understand is, if you compile that code up there, uh, you'll you get a, a tree of ops like this, which is basically just saying, assign the result of this enter sub, this invocation, um, to the uh, scalar foot, to the lexical. Um, so the deal is, this enter sub thing is a complex piece that handles a lot of stuff, and <coughs> lots of stuff, it's the stuff like set up the, the, uh, the scope for things, lexical variables. We don't care about this, we, we just you know, have a C function. Um, so we're going to replace the with something faster that just calls our function. The so, um, problem is, a single call site can be used to call all sorts of different methods. Um, so they'll just blow up if we use our optimized version, and then suddenly we call something else. And everything will just go to say, that doesn't work. So what we have to do is we'll have two separate implementations. One is optimizing. It's not optimized. It's optimizing. And one is the plain thing. So we start out by installing our optimizing XSub. When it's actually called for the first time, um, we replace the XSub, if you know, reasonable, um, with, the op, with the fast one, and install the, the plain one, uh, which is fast. Um, and then, at, at a later point, if we figure out it's a dynamic call site, and it detects that it's actually trying to um, use to invoke something else, we just revert and mark it all as bad so we don't try this. Um, and the result is it's uh, one minute. One minute. three to four times faster than I'm actually at the end of my slides, so that works just fine. 